Hi everyone, this is Paul Schmutzler for Streaming Media Producer. Happy October, the month of Halloween. It's time for spooky stories and candy. And today I have a tutorial tailor-made just for this month. I'm going to run through some of the highlights from the new Red Giant Universe version 2.1 package of effects and filters. These are designed for Premiere Pro and After Effects. I'm working in After Effects because that's where generally people are going to do more ambitious title work. And everything that I've got to show you today, with the exception of one, is going to be just titles. You're going to notice a couple of themes here with the new updates for Universe. One of those is retro. There's a lot of 80s and 90s themes here. And there's also a lot of nods to pop culture in the names and the styles of some of the effects that they have. So the first thing I wanted to do was come up with a fake documentary about the Bell Witch. I live in Tennessee, and there's a well-known folklore about the Bell Witch over in Middle Tennessee from the 19th century. So I made up a title for a documentary that might be about that, and I decided to put some different spooky effects on my titles to give it some different looks. The first thing I needed to do was get some footage. And I have some footage that I shot last year with a Blackmagic Ursa Mini, and it's really nice, silky smooth, 120 frame footage. And by itself, it's not that freaky, but I applied some effects to make it a little scarier. So let me show you the original footage first. This first clip here is just my wife dipping her hand in the water and then flicking water off. I think her and the kids were looking for some wildlife there. So you can see it's a pretty normal shot here at the beginning. Just somebody getting their hand wet and then flicking the water off. But in order to make it a bit scarier, what I did was I applied one of the noir modern effects. My apologies to the French out there if I mispronounced that. And I chose a preset from the universe. And you can see this preset browser that they have is really awesome because it gives you each preset and it gives a quick preview of each one just by scrolling your mouse over it. So I went with the projector filter because it actually has kind of a flickering light effect as if a, it's got an old bulb. And it also has a little bit of a vignette around the edge. I applied that noir effect to each one of my clips here in succession on the timeline. You can see them here. First clip is this snake, second clip is the water, and then the third clip is actually a bird flying up into some rocks. One of the options you can change on this is this 18 frame option, which gives it a different look and actually creates almost a stuttering effect in your footage. I didn't like the way that looked with what I had because the slow motion looks good when it's smooth, but it looks really odd when it's stuttering, so I left it the way it is. Then I moved on to the titles. The title of my makeup made-up documentary is The Bell Witch, with the subtitle of A True Tale of Tennessee Horror. So the subtitle doesn't change, so let's start with that. Each one of the effects I'm going to show you, this will remain the same. The effect that I chose to use is the Ecto effect from Universe, and Ecto has a lot of different options for you. These are all pre-built ones that you can just click and immediately have available Without any changes, they'll look just like this. Some of these are hard to read, like the optical glow and the limelight. For this small serif text, it just kind of disappears. So I had to choose something more simple. I believe I started with flame outlines, which is right here in the top right. And then I made some changes to it to give the effect that I wanted. And one of the things I did was I chose a warm color preset, which you can change here. And then you can also individually select specific colors if those aren't good enough for you. The other thing I did was I applied some keyframes so you'll see how it comes in in kind of a hot flash where you can't really read the text and then it cools off almost like a burst of flame and then the letters just kind of smolder and burn as it plays through here. The other thing I love is the fact that the text that's below here actually affects the text above it. So the, the glow that's coming from the flames of these letters actually gets applied on top of the Bell Witch main title above it. So it casts that orange glow on top of it. And you can see before that title comes on, I just have pure white text. So they interact really well together. So that's the subtitle, which will remain unchanged throughout this tutorial. So let's go on to our main title, the Bell Witch. So the first one I've got pulled up here is Glitch. Glitch does not really affect the text that much by itself, but you'll find that Every few frames, something will happen on screen. A, a random couple of pixels will pop up, or part of the letters will actually disappear, as you can see right there on the second L and bell. 
part of that just gets removed. And it just happens for a frame at a time. And then you'll see other places on the screen where things will appear, like right there. So it just kind of gives it that unnerving feeling that you might want for something that's kind of creepy like this. Jumping up to the top of my list, I have the AV Club preset applied here. And you can see right away they're going for a high school video project or cable access kind of effect. And again, each one of these, you just scroll over, you can see a quick preview. We've got late night infomercial here. This one I think of MTV, I think because of the garish colors. And then there's a nod to Weird Al here. Public access television. That makes me think of Wayne's World. And there's even some pixelated options here that are tailor-made for your old uh, Nintendo or, or Atari interfaces if you want to do something like that. So to me, this doesn't work that well with my subtitle because this has this weird 80s or 90s retro VHS effect, whereas this is definitely more traditional spooky movie look. So let's move on to the next one. I chose Ecto again for the main title, but you can see this has a completely different look than my subtitle. It's all white. It has kind of a, uh, what I think of as like a phantasm look to it. It's like a white flame. And then again, when that subtitle comes on, it casts this eerie orange glow over even the white smoke that, or flame that's up here. That preset is called Phantom. And again, browsing the preset shows you everything you have available at your disposal. So you can see the diversity that you can get out of just this one effect just by spending a little time making some tweaks. By the way, while I'm looking at this preset again, also notice the E that they've chosen for this preset. If it makes you think of a particular series on Netflix, that's probably not by accident. Moving on down the list, now we're to Glofi 2. If you've used Universe in the past, you'll be familiar with Glofi, and this is their new version of this. It has some new presets. They are available in vertical glows, horizontal glows, and then just straight up Gaussian glows which just kind of hugs the shape of the letters rather than being directional. I went with a horizontal glow, and you can see it gives this cool effect where it moves around, different letters will glow at different rates, and the words will have the effect in a, uh, varying degrees over time. And by the way, I'm going to show all of these to you as rendered final outputs at the very end of this video, so stick around to the end of the video if you want to see how each of these looks when they're finally rendered. The next one down is Long Shadow. Long Shadow was used in their demo footage as a 3D, uh, again, retro kind of effect where it comes out at an angle looking like it's on a 3D column coming out of the corner of the screen. Of course you can do that, but I decided I wanted to try something different. You can control the angle here, so what I did was I actually made it vertical and I made it appear and kind of slide out down the screen from the letters. And you can see I kind of give this effect of oozing blood out of the letters. The other thing is when it completes, you can see the 3D column effect that hugs the shape of the letters. You can also affect the choke of the effect, the shadow, so that it draws in more of the letters or it can actually even bleed outside of the letters. So ultimately when this is complete, it gives sort of a, uh, a column effect like they're standing up on these columns that are the shape of the letters. And the final effect that I used here is called luster. Luster is essentially a chrome type effect or a reflective effect. It can be designed to interact with a gradient, a solid color, or even some footage like behind it. I chose a preset and didn't make a whole lot of changes beyond the color scheme. But again, there, there's your options on presets. All kinds of different colors with varying degrees of reflectivity. And of course, you can start somewhere and tweak it or just choose your own color palette from scratch and make it exactly how you want. This one gets a little overpowered by the subtitle later. So I would really want to either draw the subtitle down in brightness or bring this one up or change the colors altogether so that Bell Witch doesn't get lost from the subtitle that kind of overpowers it. So that's a quick look at a lot of the new features available in Universe version 2.1 from Red Giant. It's available as an annual subscription for Premiere Pro and After Effects and also other editing platforms. There are many more effects available in Universe, including some effects that were available in previous versions that have been updated for 2.1. Go to redgiant.com to check it out for yourself, and happy Halloween. Happy Halloween.